Okay, uh, in the midst of Project Hell here. Well, fun, fun hell, I guess. I didn't record this yesterday because I thought it was going to be a direct swap. Um, I've got the old water pump here, which seemed to be having some issues. And I replaced it with this new one. Uh, and I thought it was just going to be a swap, quick swap. And realistically, the swap did. It just took me like five minutes. Um, but all of the connections, I found out um, that all the tubing is 5 ace And all of the connections are one half. And so the whole reason the system wasn't working to begin with was because, well, what I am going to test out right now is that the... Um, the tubes were big, so they were letting air in, which was creating an improper suction um, and not making it work. So we are going to try something new. Swap out the 5 ace tube for half inch and see if that works. I'm going to start with one first and then go from there. Let me, oh, let me turn off that light. Let me show you what I've done here. So right now, oh, I guess I might need the light. Right now, this hose, this one that's all curled up here, uh, is temporary just to see if this water pump is working efficiently. Um, I will need to eventually tie that to one dash here, the water pump out, will eventually be tied into this key right here. And then this will distribute to the head and to this, well, this will go into the hot water heater and directly into the um, cold water. Goes into the hot water heater and then into, directly into the cold water tap side of it. So this should potentially work. So. Here's the test. All right. Hey. Uh, it's water pressure. Turn down the black keys. All right. Here it working. I also redid all the plumbing on this sink, so uh, the drain. It wasn't working so well, so. <laughs> Pressure. Come on, buddy. <sighs> Nothing. What the hell? I thought I was okay. Well, the reason it's not working is I have no water in my tanks. Attempt. Dos. Water pressure. Tanks are filled. Give it a second to fill up, hopefully. Sounds better. Come on, baby. Please work. That and the flow changes. That's a success. You. Go! 
Okay, uh, all new water lines are a go. New water pump is a go. Um, hot, cold, it's all working. Oh, and here it is. Okay, we got cold water. Super powerful. And hot water. Also powerful. And the crappy old sink. We've got water, water, and actually this thing works. Uh, I just need to reinforce that with some tape because it was um, shooting water. Okay, today is the day to cross my fingers and hope that I get a depth finder. I ordered it, I got the B&G Triton 2 to replace the stock one that I have that's not working. Uh, that I believe is a Raymarine. I have three, counted three transducers up front under the V-Birth. Not one of them works. And so now I'm hoping that I can take out the newest one, which I believe is uh, the one for the Raymarine system, and insert a new uh, B&G one. I'm hoping that the through holes are compatible. My luck, it's not gonna happen. But there's always a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. All right, here they are. This is the one I'm hopefully gonna take out. I mean, I'm looking at it and it looks real close. I'm really hoping that this works. That's a little scary. <laughs> I got it out. There it is. Covered in barnacles. Covered in barnacles. <laughs> I put this thing in. Holy crap. Water just came flowing in. Uh, I, I wish I could have recorded that, but it's just way too tight in here to work and record. Maybe I'll try to get it on this time. Okay, this is really close. I'm going to see if this is going to work. Oh, this is scary. All right. Holy crap. It fits. I think. Seems like a very tight. Well, maybe not actually. Yeah, that's not scary at all. Jeez. Oh. Oh my God. I can't believe that fits in there. That is never my luck. Holy crap. Okay. The boat is an absolute disaster right now. But I'm gonna figure it out. This doesn't work. I do not know what to do. Should have done that while I was turned on. Okay. This should power out. Oh, 
Okie dokie. I'm pretty sure a fuse was blown in here. And all right, everything's off. I'm gonna put this back in here. Hoping that when I flip this switch, one, two, three, it turns on. Nothing. Okay, I just put a five amp fuse in there. I'm gonna try to connect it directly to the battery. Let's see if this helps. Let's see if this works directly to the battery. Pretty sure I just blew that. Just blew it. Yep, fuse blown. What on earth? Okay, two hour project, or what was supposed to be about a two hour project, installing my BNG depth finder uh, has now gone into day three, I believe, and more than likely by the time I'm done with this, I'll probably be on day seven. So, I've run some diagnosis. I kept blowing fuses. Um, the backbone system, I guess, wasn't rigged correctly. Uh, initially, I re-ran everything, refixed everything, um, and tested everything out. And it turns out that the transducer that is in the through hole in my boat where all the water came through when I had to switch it is more than likely bad. So... I'm gonna do one last test on it to see if it really is that, but I gotta pull it out of the water again and hang it overboard. Um, all right, let me turn on the sump pump. All right, that's on. Here goes nothing. Here's my little stopper just in case. But I'm going to try to just swap these out. This. Here it goes. Ready? Set. It wasn't as bad as the first go around. Okay, I've taken the transducer for this BNG display and hung it overboard. Out there's the wire and it's hanging in the water down there. So that is in its original housing or the housing that it came with as opposed to the one that's already in the boat. So now I'm gonna flip a switch and see if it blows a fuse. Let's see. One, two, three. Wrong one. Fuse blown, which is the red light. No display, which actually makes me feel way better because that means I can use the third hole that I have I just got a bad transducer. All right, time to call Malcolm, West Marine. Okay, time to move on from projects. I'm working on this BNG depth sounder. Figured out what the issue is, so now I am going to 
what am I going to do? I'm going to mount the display and then run the other um, wire from the helm of the boat from that little corner right there. And I'm going to ride and run it down under to here, to the power. And so when I get the new depth sounder, all I'll have to do is take, or the new transducer, whenever, I'll have to take out the old one, put in the new one, realistically just connect one wire and it should be good to go. That is the goal. Alright, so what we're going to do is put up this big this. So this is the template that came from B&G. Should be pretty straightforward. box I need to cut out. Glass I should do. Yep. Then are you? a lot of uh, a positivity there. Yeah. Hi, this Adam. Hey, Malcolm. Uh, well, I took out the um, transducer and, and did the test overboard in the housing and uh, blew a fuse. So, it's the transducer. I was actually a little worried because well, when I took out the new housing there was this um metal uh spring in there and i was like oh god that better not be a ground it turns out it's just this flap that closes to allow less water in so so i need a new transducer all right thank you i'll uh, give you a shot then I'm searching through the embers For something in the past And all these fading treasures Just memories that won't last Like back when we were friends Now we're strangers again Time to run the wire for the BNG depth speed uh, transducer and the display. The display that we just put in up there, uh, and there you can't see it anymore, um, will hopefully come through. Oh, exposure. This locker, I think. But there's one cord in there, I gotta figure out how to pull it through. I. Okay, I just uncovered what I have no clue all of this wire goes to. I guarantee a majority of this 
is probably absolutely nothing. Think I'm helping or finding some place my memories are. Get back here. I'm not done with you. Like we are fans. Now it's so, I started this project. <laughs> I can't be well enough alone. I just started ripping out. Uh, I mean, I probably ripped out over 200 feet of old cable. Depth sounder? Yeah. Uh, turns out they gave me a faulty one. Oh, wow. And like, I mean, you gotta take it out when your boat's in the water, otherwise you gotta haul out and do all this other crap. Right? And, uh, so I, so I pulled it out in water. I started telling a story to this old sailor dude. He didn't give a shit. He, <laughs> he is just like, all right, whatever, good luck. And he walked away. <laughs> if you look here, like, I mean, I'm, I'm pulling out probably. 30 years of old wiring that I'm pretty sure doesn't go anywhere. I just checked the uh, Raymarine GPS at the helm and that still works. So I mean I pulled the wire through like all of these wires back here you know a majority of them don't do crap so I've just been ripping them out. It'll make it easier in the future when I need to find something. Okay I'm an idiot. As always, I can't do anything easy. I always think too quick that I've got it right, and then I don't. So I ran this cord backwards. Test success or no success. This will only be a test for the display. Flipping the switch to see if the breaker or if the fuse blows. Fuse did not blow. Okay. Oh, I need to put my stairs back in. Alright. Here we go. Display. Oh no. Nothing on the display. That's supposed to be lit up. Shit. Uh, you know what? I bet that fuse was already blown. Oh, wait a second. Did I even flip the right switch? Yeah, I did. I think that fuse is already blown. It's hard to tell, I can't tell. This one is for sure not blown. No pop. Oh, my lord. Okay. We got it. It is lit up. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, back at the boat. Two days before I leave. Well, really, a day and a half before I leave. And I've got to... I got my transducer. The new one so I'm testing that out this morning and Amazon is supposed to deliver my new macerator today so I'm hoping um, that gets delivered and then I'll probably go and get that come back and install that although they say I have until 10 p.m. for it to be delivered today so we'll see maybe that's a tomorrow job but I hope not um, anyway realistically I really just hope this transducer works Okay, everything is plugged in. Um, I'm gonna flip this switch, 
I don't blow a fuse, that's going to be awesome news. And we're going to go out and check the panel. One, two, three. No blowing fuse. Okay. We got startup. Let's see if it recognizes it. Speed menu settings. System network sources auto select. He recognized it. Close. Oh, close. Holy crap. Okay, it recognized it, so I think we're good, although it's just not doing anything because it's not in the water. So no depth, obviously no speed, uh, and no temp because it's not touching water. So it's time to crawl back in there and let a ton of water flow back into the boat and swap this out. Okay. Let's do this. <clears throat> One, two, three. Go in the hole. Ah. Wow, okay. Damn. Enabled. Depth. I don't know how to set that. Yay. 10 minutes. Five minutes. Depth, boat speed. depth minus 7.8 feet I don't think that's right okay that was by far the biggest hurdle that I needed to tackle although I didn't see water temp I need to look at that again I don't really care about that but um yeah I am beyond excited because now this means I can sail on my own see the true depth if I come in close to shallow water, I can pack it off. Um, it doesn't make me anywhere near as nervous, so super relieved.